in this video I'll go through some basic steps of getting started with R so once you have installed R and R studio then once you start to R you will see four windows like this in the first window in this area you can write your commands and you can make them run so for example let's say you want to do 3 plus 5 once you click on run option here so you will see in the console area that command runs uh, 3 plus 5 and it gives you it you can actually sometimes directly run things in console you can say for example 4 plus 2 and hit enter and you get the answer we use uh, the first wind window for programs that we want to write and save like it can be saved as a file what you do in console obviously you cannot save that similarly you may do five times five and if you run that you get an answer 25 so let me get rid of these generally for doing any statistical analysis you need data now in R there are some ready-made data which are available if I hit control L it clears everything and if you say data and then these brackets hit enter at the top you will see it will list a lot of data which are already available in R you can also use this command here to get more data which is available with R package I will make use of this example here this data set called trees one of the commands I'm writing here is for dimension if you want to know what is the dimension of uh, this trees data set and run this so it says uh, 31 rows and three columns so there are basically 31 observations and there are three variables in this data set if you want to know the names you can say names and trees now one thing uh, you have to remember is it is very sensitive to the case like if instead of all small letter trees if you say maybe t is capital and then try to run this you'll get error if uh, the original data set has small t then you have to use small t otherwise you'll get error so in this data set you have like three variables girth height and volume you can use another command called str for structure if I run this one it gives you structure of this data set it says uh, this data frame has 31 observations so it's not a very huge data set uh, with three variables first variable girth is a numeric variable and these are some of the first few values like 8.3 8.6 and so on height is also a numeric variable with certain values like these and volume also is a numeric variable so all three variables are numeric so we are just exploring this data you can also say attributes so if you run this so it gives attributes of this data set so what are the names of the variables and these are the rows and then this class is data frame if you want to look at some of the rows you can say trees and the square bracket let's say we are interested in first five observations and put a comma this says like one to five rows and if I don't put anything for the column then that means all the columns so I'm not going to put any value here I will simply run this so what it does is it shows us data for first five rows because this is one to five and all the three columns in the data set girth height and volume similarly there's another option called head if you just want to look at first few rows at the top or head of the data set so in fact it gives you first six rows 
for all the three variables. You can use another command called tail to look at last few observations. So tail and run. So you can see you have last six observations. You could also do a summary of this data. So now for each of the variables, girth, height, and volume, it gives you minimum value in the data. First quartile, so first quartile is the value where you have 25% observations less than 11.05 and 75% of the observations are more than 11.05. Median is the middlemost value, so 50% of the observations are more than 12.9 and 50% are less than 12.9. Mean is the average, so add all the data points, divide by how many you have. So you get 13.25. So mean is like center of gravity of data and it's most commonly calculated average. Third quartile, 75% of the data points are less than 15.25 and 25% of data points are more than that. And the maximum value for girth is 20.60. So it gives you a summary of data which uh, we have. You can also find uh, specific uh, numerical summaries like uh, let's say quantiles so if you want to calculate quantile you can simply say quantile and now you have to specify quantile for for which one which variable so let's say we want to calculate quantile for girth variable in the trees data set so trees uh, has three variables as you know now to specify one particular variable like girth you had to put a dollar sign after trees and then G I R T H. Note that I have used capital G because in the data set you have capital G. To run this line, any line you can just select the whole thing and then say run or you can click anywhere in that row and click on run, you get the same thing. So for quantile, it calculates uh, defaults are 0%, uh, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. So 0 and 100% are basically minimum, maximum. Now, if you want to calculate specific quantile, you can say quantile. And I'm going to specify C and within brackets, 0.1. 0.2, comma 0.3. So I want like 10%, 20%, and 30% values. If I run this line, you can say you get 10%, 20%, and 30% values for this particular variable girth. If you want to calculate, let's say, standard deviation, SD, and we have to specify for which variable we want standard deviation. Let's say we want it for height. So H E I G H T. So I have used H capital because in the name of the variable, H is capital. So if we run this, you get standard deviation. So these are like uh, some of the basic things, uh, basic numerical summaries or uh, some other summaries that you can see quickly. Let's look at uh, one or two graphs uh, that you can make from this data. So let's start with the histogram. So for making histogram, the command is HIST. And then you have to specify you want a histogram for which variable because you have three variables. So we would say trees and dollar sign to specify which variable we want. And let's say we want it for girl. So if you click on run, so now you'll see in the fourth box, you get a picture of a histogram. Now this panel is basically used for getting plots and some other things that will uh, go through from time to time. Similarly, if uh, you want to do a scatter plot between two variables, scatter plot for girth and volume. So you see a scatter plot here. So as the girth increases, volume is also going up. Positive linear relation between girth and volume in this data set. If one variable increases and other variable also increases, that is a positive 
correlation or relation between the two variables. But if one variable is going up, the other variable falls down. A scatter plot which is in the opposite direction, something like this. So that will be negative relation between the two variables. Another good feature of uh, R is you can use what is called pairs. This will work when all of your variables are numeric variables. As in our case here, all three variables are numeric. What it does is it will make a scatter plot for all possible combinations. So, for example, this scatter plot here is for girth versus volume. This scatter plot is for height versus volume, and so on. Now, suppose you want to save this data, you can save it like a file. You, you may say save as suppose i want to save this in my desktop and i want to call this as getting started so now that file is saved now if you want to add some comments here not the commands but just a comment so for example you can put a hash sign here and say examples of graphical summaries so you can give whatever name you like because when you have this hash sign that indicates that this is not a command line like if you run this you just uh, get uh, whatever was there in the line it will not do anything else so you can use this for giving some names or giving some comments uh, before you save the file and you can save this 